Hello. As I assist people with the purchase of their investment properties, often the question that comes up is if they can take ownership under an LLC. And the answer is yes. If uh, the loan that you're getting is Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, uh, you certainly can. Doing so will not trigger the due on sale clause. And I'm going to go through the Fannie Mae guideline. And I'll point out the small nuance between Fannie Mae and Freddie Max. The guideline I have up here is directly off the Fannie Mae website, the servicing guide. What it gets down to, once you buy the house, it says unless the previous borrower requests a light, uh, release of liability, it's not really the case here, the servicer must process the following exempt transaction without reviewing or approving. In other words, you don't need an approve or review. They just process it. You move on. Now skip down to the part on the LLC. Right here, limited liability company provided that mortgage loan is purchased or securitized by Fannie Mae on or after June 1st, 2016. So essentially, if you got the loan after then, moving forward, that's fine. And if the LLC is controlled by the original borrower or the original borrower owns a majority interest in the LLC, then you're fine. If the transfer results in a permanent change of occupancy type to an investment property, then such change does not violate the security instrument. So in other words, if you purchase a home as your primary residence and then you decide you're going to switch it to an investment property LLC, you will have, have to, 12 months will have, have to elapsed for some reason that if you purchase this as your primary home or as a vacation home, you already signed a document saying you will live there, use as your secondary home for 12 months. However, if you do purchase them as an investment property, you can make the change right away, okay. day after closing, if you'd so like. Now, once you do make the change, should you decide to refinance, you will need to make a change back to personal, but you can flip back and forth uh, each time. So just to summarize, if you purchase your home as an investment property, uh, you can, Fannie Mae allows you to do it right away. Freddie Mac has a couple of nuances. They don't really have a date in terms of on or after. So I think they have a little more latitude there. However, they do have a 12 month a requirement on theirs in your guideline it says uh, you, you can do it after you've had the loan for 12 months so if it's something you want to do right away suggestion is talk to your lender about going fanny may uh, with your purchase to make sure that they lock and securitize you in the right direction and then uh, after that you can make the change right, starting the day after closing I'm going to go ahead and post the link under here. It'll take you to Fannie Mae's conforming loan limits. Because the item I covered, being Fannie or Freddie, essentially involves loans up to their maximum loan limit. Of course, underwritten to their guidelines, as opposed to being portfolio. Their loan limits do change each year. I believe the link will show 2021 limits. And that limit can vary from county to county. Alex can vary depending on the number of units in the property. Uh, so if you're buying multi-unit in Wright County, you could end up as high as one and a half million dollar loan. So check that for eligibility. Hope this helps and uh, happy investing. Bye-bye.